Adam Savage here in my cave with a show and tell that is also a little bit of a tool tip. There you go, you're getting two for one today. Um, as you can imagine, people give me stuff. It happens all the time. Uh, and a bunch of years ago, at this point, probably more than 10 years ago, I had some folks from Google come by. Uh, and we were talking about a project that we were working on and uh, they, knowing that they were coming to the cave, uh, they were kind of excited about it and they brought me a gift. And the gift was this flashlight, the RG slash two. Um, this is the result. I'm gonna tell you the story of this flashlight. I have no idea how accurate this story is. I heard it from one person at Google. Uh, so please, uh, if you're part of this project and I'm getting something wrong, uh, my caveat is I really apologize. I'm going by memory of what I heard, but I got given this flashlight and I got told that it is crazy bright and that it might be the brightest flashlight at that point ever built. Um, it uses four giant LEDs in the front that each of them is a cluster of four LEDs, yet yeah, uh, these things are super bright. Um, when you have it set at its full brightness, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think about how to reveal the details of this story, right? Because as a storyteller, I'd like to leave the best for last, but I, I just wanna talk about for a second how ridiculously powerful and bright this flashlight is. Um, actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually put batteries in it. By the way, so this was developed as an internal project at, at the Google. Um, and uh, it never saw the light of day as a retail product for reasons that are part of the story I heard. But it's a beautiful bit of kit. Uh, as I'm unscrewing it, I gotta tell you, the anodizing and the, the machining on the threading it's just one of those things where you can really tell that something was labored over and somebody carefully went over all the details. So this takes four of these big lithium ion batteries. Um, you wanna be gentle about how you load them. You don't wanna just drop them all the way down. Um, and then uh, it's, its operation is exceedingly simple. This is literally, ah, a machined chunk of anodized aluminum with a spring on the end. There's no switch in here. It's literally that when this touches the side, it uh, becomes operable. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it uh, assembled here. A little O-ring at the bottom. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so here's how bright this thing is. Wait, there we go. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, <laughs> do you see that? Does my hand just disappear? Oh my God, it totally does. <laughs> This thing is so bright that if I look at my hand like this, it's like there is a trace. You do not want to ever do this to a person. I mean, I, I hope I didn't hurt my iPhone's camera with that. Um, this thing is insanely bright. Holy cow, is it bright. Um, apparently, and I have it set on its full brightness, which means that on those four lithium ion batteries, it'll run for, again, this is what I heard, nine minutes and nine minutes total. That's how much power it's drawing to power that much light. Yeah, and apparently this heat sink here is not decorative, it's necessary. That's how much it takes to pump electrons into these quad clusters of LED bulbs to get them to do this incredible amount of light. Here, look behind me, yeah. In broad daylight, you can see the beam of this flashlight moving behind me. And it's not dim in this shop, it's the middle of the day. I got a lot of light coming through the skylight. Yeah. Apparently, during the New York blackout, Google employees were using these flashlights to light entire intersections of Manhattan in the pitch black in order to help drivers navigate through. Yeah, this is a beast of a flashlight and I am proud to be its steward. It is gorgeous. It is, it feels great and holy hell, if I ever really need that much light, this is my go-to. Two things. I heard that the reason it never became a retail product is because it's so bright it might not be legal. 
Look, that, I don't know what statutes exist for the brightness of flashlights. I'm not sure. It sounds like a great story, and it certainly lands well at parties. I'm not, I, I can't vouch for its veracity. Um, the second thing, and the final thing I'll tell you is, years ago, a um, friend of Mythbusters, the wonderful actress and uh, science, uh, science nut Sophia Bush, came to the set for her second time uh, to dress for us as Princess Leia in the Star Wars episode we did, and Jamie held on to her as they swung across the chasm. Jamie dressed as Luke. It was a great day. Sophia, uh, super science enthusiast, terrific actress, totally amazing human being, super delightful to work with. Uh, and she brought a friend who worked at Google. And I told him that I owned one of these, and he said, oh, you own a fire sword? And that's when I learned that the apparently internal name of this flashlight at Google is the fire sword. <laughs> a better name? I cannot imagine. That just pleases me so greatly. And it was super delightful at the end of this long journey of owning this thing to find out that it had an internal name. So behold, my fire sword. Yeah, I love this thing. All right, let's just show you a little bit more how bright. Oh, actually, we can cut on this. Thanks, everyone, for joining. See you next time.